summer. We're here because I'm going to host a wedding. Lord, may you put your hand upon this precious couple and may you pour out your covenantal blessing even in a greater way. Lord, even at the onset of this time, may you release the fullness of your blessing, of your protection, of your guidance. May you establish every step that they take and allow them to fulfill their calling and mandate. Thank you also for supporting me in this marriage. Thank you, Dad. I remember you always used to say, "Ma'am, na anak wala ka dini papa manas sa inyo kundi ang pagibig sa Dios and kunanay at all for education and knowledge." I just want to thank you. I honor you today. Thank you for being part of my life. Not just a part. You gave me life. You gave birth to me. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. And dahil may clinking bago magwine drink. Kiss. Prayer. And the wine drinking starts now. As Mr. and Mrs. Lizzie Montes. Lechen baboy. And one of my favorite beverages. Go away, Winston. Let's check out this hotel that I'm staying in. The other one I stayed in wasn't too nice. But this is what this place looks like. This place is probably 2,000 pesos a night. And for that, you get a nice green bed sheet, bed uh, comforter, whatever it is. And nice what, curtains. Nice curtains. But you know what's really great about this room? The green comforter, mm -hmm. because we can do some chroma key. We can just hang it behind <laughs> like me. this? And do, yeah. <laughs> Hi. So it's like chroma background because of this sheet green sheet but the thing is like what Harold said no Wi-Fi but still nice and more comfortable than the other one so this is still good what do you think of hotels that have no Wi-Fi in this day and age even here in the Philippines Harold if if the hotel is no Wi-Fi it's cheap and wow Thank gosh you. Harold is my super loved makeup artist and event assistant for ISK infinite shapes and knots the thing about hotels here in the Philippines are they're really not that cheap. You'd think being a third world country that you could get rooms at really good rates, but it's going to cost you minimum around $25 a night. On average, especially if you're in Manila, it's probably going to cost you $50 a night for a decent hotel room, at least $50. That's one advantage that Thailand has as a tourist destination over the Philippines is hotels in Thailand are much cheaper. I mean, the, the rates for hotels in the Philippines are pretty much about the average cost of what it would cost you for a hotel in the United States outside of a major city. Whoa! It's time for me to change, so we better turn this camera off, unless you don't mind them seeing. It's just for me, you know. <laughs> I finally get to shave. That other hotel we stayed at was just too gross to shave at. I'm on an elevator right now and there's no operator. And just think, someday airplanes won't have pilots. They're already kind of doing it right now. The United States has unmanned drones that flies to, flies around different countries in the world and then they launch missiles from them and kill terrorists and all that good stuff but in the not too distant future 
maybe 50 years or so, you can get on an airplane just like getting on an elevator and there won't even be a pilot. It'll just be ground control. If you don't want me to send an unmanned drone to your home, you will comment on this video and give it a thumbs up.